This is Medusa, the serpent, and if you look her in the eye, you will be instantly petrified. The soldiers were careful not to turn to stone. However, Medusa disappeared and petrified them one by one. Soon he found Perseus, and the evil spirit took advantage of his pursuit and slashed him. Several coyotes landed, but Medusa escaped unscathed. She ensnared the evil spirit with a serpent's tail. The evil spirit looked at him but did not panic at all, because the evil spirit was not flesh and blood and would not be petrified. The heart of the evil spirit expands rapidly, and after an explosion, Medusa is seriously injured. Perseus closed his eyes as his companion pinned her with a stone elbow. With one blow, Medusa's tongue fell to the ground. Perseus held Medusa's head and was just about to go back with the woman. The old king attacked from behind, impaled the woman's body, and Perseus no longer resisted his divine power. He picked up Excalibur and drove a dagger through the old king's heart. 